look, it's a car. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, I'm fucking going way too fast. Oh, what, what the hell is this? Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to day 18 of 31 Days of Horror. Uh, today I watched Dawn of the Dead, directed by George Romero, the original. Uh, this is the second movie that Romero made after Night of the Living Dead, so he's a zombie expert. Um, most of his films are zombie movies. Um, after a zombie apocalypse occurs, there's two SWAT team guys, Steven and Roger, along with Francine and Peter, and they hold up in a shopping mall. What the hell is it? Looks like a shopping center. One of those big indoor malls. I don't really like zombies that much. Uh, I'm just going to say that. Uh, I'm kind of over them. I feel like we're all a little overstimulated from The Walking Dead. As far as violence goes, in this film, you're not going to see a high rate of violence. They're the very slow walking, you know, original zombies. And, you know, their makeup is not, like, the best in this movie because it's the 70s. And, um... You know, they're really just look like pale people, and they're like, you know, that typical zombie. That was a lovely impression. You should replay that. You know, I found out that they're in remarkably good spirits most of the film. Like, the characters, I don't know about you, but I'd be having multiple anxiety attacks if I was in a zombie apocalypse. These people are, like, living it up in the mall. They're, like, trying on clothes. They're ice skating, eating, like these four-star meals and you know they're the only ones in the mall obviously and then like there was this scene where you know it's sort of juxt you know positioned where they're like moving all the dead bodies to like clean up the mall and you know that's bizarre and you know I think that just relates into this whole you know the zombie apocalypse is supposed to be like society and you know um what society is like and how we we're on our phones and technology is changing and we're all sort of becoming zombies and so um, maybe that's a little bit of a commentary on that. And since this was made in the 70s, it's kind of interesting that that, you know, is a little bit brought up. So what I did love about this film is, like, the awesome, like, 70s synth and, like, guitar soundtrack. I thought that was really great. I would probably buy the soundtrack um, just because I thought that was wonderful. Um, I'm glad that the woman in this film is, like, taught and, like, treated really fairly and equally in this zombie apocalypse. Like she learns how to fly a helicopter, how to shoot a gun, um, you know, and they treat her like she's equal to them. And I thought that was great. I'd say if you like zombie films, like check this one out. Um, it's where like all of your favorite films and TV shows were inspired from. So if you love zombies, like, and you haven't seen this one, like I would say Jeff definitely like check this out.